Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the third episode of The Walking Dead. Uh, in the last episode, there were two things that I was gonna do. One of them was taking meds for Larry, I think his name was. This old angry geezer. And I want to head out with Doug. He wanted to explore some stuff, but then got trapped. So I guess I'm gonna go and get the meds first since they're closer. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. If you like the videos, uh, make sure to it's let locked. me know by. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Hmm. Okay, there are no keys. So yeah, if you like the videos, let me know by clicking the like button. And if you have any tips for me, write them down in the comments. But please don't spoil the game. I guess we have no other choice than to get out. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of you? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Hmm. This zombie looks like it's coming towards us, but it's not just walking away. Hmm. <clears throat> Yesterday I watched The Last of Us, episode 1, the TV series, so I kind of wanted to play The Walking Dead again, since I don't have The Last of Us on PlayStation. I don't have PC, so. Try to get in there and get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Okay, I guess we can use the rem TV remote to turn on some TVs, but what else can we do here? Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. It's a combination lock. Look at the one trapped over there. 
better him than us, huh? That's Lee's brother. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of, V. Has a familiar face. Ah, uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yep, there is. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Okay. Well nice. fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Mm, damn. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try to... Okay. What? I can use the remote here? Open sesame. That won't work. <laughs> I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Hmm. Okay, let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. 
We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is a max. We should get that. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. <laughs> So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Yeah, we can lose it. Back. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Is there something else? Yeah. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. We can hide by that pickup. The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. Be careful peeking around. They get on her scent, we're toast. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Okay, we almost got seen. Hmm. Let's get over here. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. Oh, we can break the window, but I wouldn't want to do that. Can you go down, please? I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Okay, let me go back, please. Okay. Nah. That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. Damn, it's closed. Okay. Can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Why is there the pillow? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. <laughs> nice. Just that was sick. should hold on to that. Pick them in handy. If you say so. We can get that guy by the wall over there, I bet. Okay, I'd like to go back and see if I can open this truck now. <clears throat> oh, I don't 
turn things over. Let's walk the There's shop. a pig in the truck. Wait! Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Let's get over here and push the car towards that zone. It was awesome. <laughs> Be sneaky. But what now? Maybe we can open the door? Doesn't seem like we can though. Hmm. Oh yeah, we should go back here and try to kill the zombie now. out when they come around the corner of the RV. What? In the head, bro. In the head. Good job, Lee. Lee! Get him! Nice! Thanks for having my back. For sure. This one looks like a dove guy. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Uh -huh. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Having an axe is always Be careful dealing with the two upstairs. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Rad. That was cool. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Use the axe, of course. I'm not gonna try it with my bare hands. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out.
You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! <laughs> but you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Len. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give her the gun, of course. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. That's you a sure? difficult thing. Yeah. <sighs> God bless you, all right? God bless you too. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Is there anything else we can do here? How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Oh, we can use the axe. Right? Yes, we can. Yeah, that was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. Okay, where could those keys be, though? You, uh, don't talk too much. That's not a bad thing. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Where are those damn keys? I don't remember them very well. Photographs, greeting cards. Maybe we can use the axe to go outside. Doug? How are we doing? 
Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Awesome. Okay. It worked. Now to distract those things carefully. What can we use to distract them though? Hmm. Oh, that brick over here. Okay, that should distract all of them. Now's yep. the time. It worked. All right. Time to see if he has the keys. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? the head okay nice I mean not nice that's his brother but at least he's now dead Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I hope there's something useful in there, other than the meds for Larry. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Shit. Now every zombie in the area will be attracted. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast! I gotta get my dad out of here! I don't plan on dilly-dallying! 
Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the window. Let's go. Glenn, we need your help. Lee, hurry. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know! I should know what? Huh? You said I should know- Shit! Run it! Are you sure? Shit! What? Oh, shit! Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Did you find anything? Nothing! Oh, wait! A window is screwed! Go! Go. Spamming as fast as I can. I found something! I don't think this is gonna hold. Get off me! Save Doug. Oh man. Thanks. No. Holy! I thought Let's go. She could grab some ammo from the back. They got Carly. Doesn't matter. You gotta move. I guess every time. Though. You can only save one. You're not covered with this, you son of a bitch! No! The fuck? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Thank you, Kenny. Too bad we lost one. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta's been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and await further instructions. Moving to the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, or Orlando may become necessary oh, in order to oh, oh, man. Oh, that was so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. So awesome. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. Sounds like there's fighting over there. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 8. I think I need to go. To Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. So this is how Glenn got to Nana. And he met Rick and everyone else from the show, I mean. Find your friends and 
be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. And I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Yeah, that doesn't make me feel better. had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. 
This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Well, the light is gone. <laughs> I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening! No more, please! No more, please! Please, please. <laughs> Damn, the next episode is gonna have some action. Light to her show. Okay, most of the players are honest. Look at Sean. Most people chose Sean. Loyalty. Most people did not defend Kenny. Most people did not give Irene the gun. And almost no one saved Doug. Whoa. Okay. Oh, kind of makes sense. Okay, can we skip this, please? Yep, we can. No, we cannot. Well. Thanks for watching this episode guys, like I said, if you liked it, let me know by clicking that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next episode, bye bye.